So today I'm going to show you how to create an image hosting website using the Chevrolet image sharing solution on Linux Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. So Chevrolet is basically an application which actually allows you to set up your own custom image sharing website. So if you currently work as a photographer, an image editor or a video editor, I'm actually just going to be showing you how you can quickly set up a website which can actually help you to showcase your work. This site can even actually allow your peers and the people you work with to also upload their work on your image sharing website. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Amazon Web Services, the Amazon Light Cell platform. So you can just quickly sign up for a free tier account and you can follow along this tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the Amazon website and sign into your account. Then open up the Amazon Light Cell service. And then once the once you've actually opened up Lightcell, you just need to create. Click on the Create Instance button. Click on uh, the OS Only button. Click on Ubuntu, and then choose the five dollar or ten dollar plan. So once you've actually done that, set the name of the instance to Chevereto um, with Server, or any any other name you'd like, and then click on the Create Instance button. So once you've actually clicked on uh, create instance, copy the public IP address for your instance and open up the root 53 service. So you need to click on any one of your hosted zones and click on the create record button. So we're going to set this record to Chevrolet tail server and then on the value field, just paste in the public IP address for your uh, Ubuntu instance. So I'm just going to go back to the instance now and then you need to click on the download default key button. So this will download a key pay file that will actually allow you to connect to the instance via SSH. So I'm going to rename this key pay file. So I'm just going to name it uh, Chevrolet, Chevrolet to uh, key. So um, once you've uh, actually renamed it, uh, open up your terminal application and then uh, change your working directory to the downloads directory. So I'm going to set the key pay file to read only. So just type in chmod 400 and then append the key pay file for the, the file name for the key pay file actually. And then to connect to the instance, just run the command SSHI, append the file name for the key pay file, and then type in Ubuntu, and then copy and paste the public IP address for the Ubuntu instance. So just type in yes and press enter. So I have successfully connected to the instance via SSH. So the next thing that I'm going to do is to elevate my access rights to the root user. I'm just going to change to the root user account. And then I'm just going to run the command apt update to download and install system and package updates. So once the package update process is complete, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to set a custom host name. So I'm just waiting for the update process to complete. And then once it's done, we're then going to set a host name. So just clear your screen and run the command hostname ctl set hostname and then I'm just going to set my hostname for the server to Chevereto uh, server. So just press enter and run command nano etc hosts to edit the host configuration file for the Ubuntu server. So type in 127.0.0.1 and then type in your custom hostname. So I'm just typing the I'm just typing in the custom host name that I've set for this server. So you just need to also type in your own custom host name in this uh, in this uh, file. So once you've uh, finished uh, editing this file, you just need to press Control O, press Enter, and then press Control X. So uh, let me just reboot the server so that all of the changes that we've made will take effect. And then next, we're going to install Apache. MariaDB, and then we're also going to clone the Chevereto project from from the from GitHub. So um, I'm reconnecting to the instance now, and the first thing that we're going to do again is to run the command sudo su. So this will then allow us to change to the root user account. And then uh, the first thing that I'm going to do, actually, there's a document that I've written up that can actually help you to follow along this tutorial. And you can click in the link in the video description for you to also go gain access to this document. 
So in this document, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is to install some important uh, dependencies that we need uh, for us to be able to run Chevrolet to efficiently. So just copy and paste that command and press end. Next, we're going to install Apache 2 and MariaDB. So uh, once the dependency installation process is complete, just copy and paste the command to install Apache and MariaDB. So type in Y and press end. Next, we're going to add the Andre J uh, repository into this Ubuntu server so that we can actually download and install uh, PHP. Uh, you can either use PHP 7.4 or even the latest version, PHP uh, version 8. So I'm just waiting for the installation process to complete. And then once it's done, I'm then going to add that repository. So the installation is done. So just copy and paste that command to add the Andre J uh, repository into your Ubuntu system. Next, run the command apt update just to make sure that your apt package knows the existence of that uh, repository. Next, you now need to install uh, PHP 7.4. So just copy and paste that command to actually then install PHP version 7.4. So once the installation is done, you now need to complete the MySQL secure installation process uh, procedure just to make sure that your MySQL installation is a bit more secure and protected from some of the most common attacks that affect uh, uh, websites on the internet every day. So the PHP installation is almost done. And once it's done, we are then going to go through the MySQL secure installation process. So just copy and paste that command and set root password, just type in new. And then on the other prompts, we just type in Y and press end. So we have secured the MySQL uh, installation. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a database for the Chevrolet application. So uh, run the command create database. And then I'm going to name this database Chevrolet DB. So just copy and paste that command. Uh, and the next command you need to copy is a command that will create a user account. And then we are then going to grant all privileges on the Chevrolet DB to the Chevrolet user that we've actually just created. So just copy and paste that command. And next you need to flash privileges and exit out of the MariaDB shell. So I'm just typing in flash privileges. And then press enter, then type in exit to exit out of the MariaDB shell. So next, uh, we are going to then uh, create a di directory in the var www.html uh, Chevrolet directory. So change your working directory to, directory to this directory that you've actually just created. And then in this directory, uh, run the command wget. Uh, followed by the link to actually download the Chevrolet to uh, application files. So please note that Chevrolet to is actually a web-based application. So you just need to be aware of that as you proceed with the installation. So you need to then unzip, but I think I don't have unzip installed. So just run the command apt install unzip. So I'm just installing unzip. And the next thing you need to do is to unzip the Chevrolet to zip archive file that we've actually downloaded earlier using uh, wget. So I've unzipped the file now. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the ownership of these files. So just copy and paste those commands to change the ownership of those, uh, of those files. And next, I'm then going to set the permissions on the directory and files. And then I'm going to create an Apache configuration file. So this is sort of like creating a virtual host uh, configuration file, which tells Apache where to, how to load and where to find the Chevrolet to application. So you just need to modify your server admin and server name parameters so that just so to make sure that when you then try to access the Chevrolet to application from your web browser, it will actually load up correct. So this is more of like a uh, uh, server name uh, virtual host uh, configuration that I'm using. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do 
is to run the command a e a two uh, e n site chevrolet. Uh, so we're just letting Apache know of the existence of that uh, configuration file, and then you now need to enable SSL. So just copy and paste the command and press end. And finally, you now need to restart the Apache service. So just copy and paste the command to do the restart. So I just wrote this document so that it's much faster for me to complete and demonstrate this uh, tutorial. So next, uh, let me just check if Apache is actually running. So as you can see, Apache is running. So the next thing is we're going to try to open up the web-based uh, configurator. So once, it's o once it opens up, you need to type in your data database name, uh, which is actually shared to DB in my case. Type in your database username, and then type in your database password. So let me just copy that first part and then paste that into the database uh, password field and then click on uh, install so i think i've got an issue with this let me just check my password and correct it okay so then click on continue so there you have it so you now need to create an admin username so type in any username and then you then need to type in an admin email address please make sure you type in a valid email address and make sure you're typing the correct thing type in an admin password and then we are then going to type in a from email address as well as an incoming email address then you can either set the website mode to community uh, and then click on the install chevrolet tour button the installation is now complete so you just need to click on the admin dashboard uh, link type in the username that you've actually just created type in your password and then click on the login uh, button so once you've actually logged into Shevereto, you can see we've actually successfully logged into the system. And you should be seeing a dashboard that actually looks like this. So you can click on images to view the images that are in your system. You can click on albums, you can click on users uh, to view all of uh, in the information that is actually related to that. And to install updates, you can just click on install updates. Actually, there's actually an update that is available. So let me just download and install that update um okay so let me just go back to the dashboard okay so i've actually actually just updated the system so you can see that the connection my connection is currently not secure so i'm just going to correct that by installing a free let's encrypt uh, ssl certificate so you just need to go back to your terminal uh, application or your terminal connection to the ubuntu server and you need to run the command that i'm copying now you just copy the command and paste that into your terminal window so we're actually downloading certbot which is just a utility that allows us to install let's encrypt uh, ssl certificates on a linux based system such as uh, ubuntu then the next thing is we need to run a command that will then issue this uh, issue uh, would actually issue out a uh, let's encrypt ssl cert certificate to the ubuntu uh, system so it's asking for a email address so let me just type in an email address and then uh, it's asking us to agree so just type in a and press enter and then it's asking us if we're willing to share my email address so i'm just going to be willing to that so type in y and press enter so as you can see it's actually now obtaining a uh, let's encrypt uh, ssl certificate so okay so let me just set it to redirect all requests to https by selecting option 2 and there you have it so the next thing that i'm going to do is to open up uh, https port 443 so on the ipv4 file rule in the light cell uh, dashboard just uh, select https and then click on the create button if we reload the page you should now see that you've got a lock icon just next to your domain name so as you can see we've uh, successfully installed a uh, let's encrypt ssl certificate on the chevrolet uh, image sharing server so that's the front end that's what it actually looks like so that's been it guys i hope this tutorial has been informative and i'd like to thank you for viewing